Hey, welcome back to the Onision Wiki. Today we're going to be looking at some of Onision's biggest controversies, which tend to be extremely closely tied into his very public relationships. There is a part one to this. We're kind of mid-relationship right now, so a card's going to pop up in the top right of your screen. I highly recommend checking that out if you haven't seen it yet. But we are starting today on the first separation from Shiloh Hoganson and relationship with Adrian Jorgensen. Just one word of warning, this article kind of stupidly refers to Onision as his former surname Jackson the entire time. So if you ever see the name Jackson and I'm saying Onision instead, that's just to make it easier for everybody. Following a series of other controversial videos posted through early and mid-2011, including a telling blog post by Hoganson regarding hers and Onision's relationship, the authenticity of which has been brought into question. Onision and Hoganson ended their relationship for roughly two months in August. On September 3rd, 2011, Jackson posted a video titled, I Found Her, confirming that he had begun a relationship with a woman who will later be identified as Adrian Jorgensen. Jorgensen was believed to be at least seven years Onision's Jr. The relationship lasted a short time, prompting Jorgensen to publish a letter about her association with Onision. She wrote, It felt like the more I rejected his attempts at controlling the situation, the more extravagant his next attempt would be. It was like this ultimate game of Pong, back and forth until one of us would slip up, and then it's game over. I want you to remember, this is still night three of us talking. Not three years, not three months, not three weeks, three days. Please notice how he is already throwing the L word around, as if he is using it to control me and invoke fear, rather than to express any genuine feelings for me. She also adds, He told me that Shiloh is a psychotic pathological liar, that almost every word that comes out of her mouth is fabricated or designed to hurt someone. I think it goes without saying that he told me he didn't believe she was pregnant and that she lied entirely about losing her memory, that she admitted it to him later. The letter also includes a claim that Onision had forced Jorgensen to have sex with him without using a condom, which he has neither confirmed nor denied since the particular claim. Also in her letter, Jorgensen revealed that she had had an email correspondence with Hoganson's mother in which she wrote to Jorgensen, Onision tried mending things with his wife, Sky Tantaga, when he booted Shiloh out, and now he's turned to Shiloh when you guys didn't work out. Onision just found the weakest link. It scares me because I know how calloused Onision is from the last time. I was there to rescue her that time, but now she's too far away and knows absolutely no one there. Onision is evil personified. It'll only be a matter of time before he kicks Shiloh out onto the street again. She just doesn't seem to have any self-worth anymore. Okay, maybe I'm playing shitty detective here, and I don't pretend to know, like, every detail or every angle of this relationship or these relationships, but when one ex-girlfriend's mother is in contact with another ex-girlfriend of the same guy, there's definitely concern there. Like, I would be afraid if, if uh, I was going through the same things that Ariel Jorgensen was going through, and I feel extremely uncomfortable with the knowledge that, like, Shiloh was sucked back in by Greg Onision. Like, it's just messed. It just makes me, like, feel weird. Weird. Like, I can feel the negative energy, and, like, uh, I can't imagine being in a house with Onision. I don't want to, like, be super fucking negative towards Onision, but I really almost can't help it at this point, because there's, it's just, a, there's a weird vibe, and it's only going to get worse from here. Reunion with Shiloh Hoganson. In November 2011, Onision revealed that he and Shiloh had been reunited for about one month, and that she was pregnant with their child, in a video titled Our Child. I'm actually going to play some of this video just so you guys can see the kind of vibes that Onision was giving off, what he was trying to tell his fan base, and the ways that he was sort of manipulating them. I don't know if you could quite call it manipulation, but I got a very weird feeling from watching this video, just with all the perspective that we have now in retrospect, but I feel as though his fans would have been very convinced of what he was saying and would have trusted him entirely at this time. But I'm not sure about that. If you were a fan at this time, let me know how you felt about it. Hey guys, I just want to announce formally a couple of things. First of all, many of you are already aware that Shiloh and I got engaged on the 24th of September, which is awesome, obviously. Shiloh took two pregnancy tests a month later, and they both confirmed that Shiloh and I are going to be parents somewhere around June um, it's scary in the sense that I have a lot of responsibility now. And as I have expressed in many previous videos on the Onision Speaks channel, there are no alternatives. There are no alternatives to having a child with Shiloh. And the reason is, is because I have the means and I have the stability to raise a child. And thus I have no excuse for anything else. So anyone who would even suggest that, please check yourself. 
Shiloh and I are going to be parents. We are going to be responsible parents. We are going to take care of this child the best we know how. So anyone thinking that we're too crazy to raise a child, please understand that you know very little. You see what we show you and only what we show you. Shiloh in her worst state is due to a broken heart. And me in my worst state is probably the same. We're both people who live on love. And outside of heartbreak, we are very, very stable people. So I believe that the core solution to her and my problems in the past is to stick with it, to not give up. When we have problems, seek help. And God damn it, be the best parents we can be. Now, it's just very concerning that he would claim he does have the means to, to raise a child, but the stability is 100% in question. He's trying to play it off like there's no question to the stability of both of these people in the relationship and the relationship itself. He's trying to, like, pretend that there have been no problems in the past that have been publicly shared with everybody. I mean, I don't want to, like, hate on you too much, Onision, but, like, this is completely irresponsible stuff. Or you're just, you're lying to yourself and your fan base and saying that, both you and Shiloh are like fueled off of love and stuff. That's perfectly fine, but in the in the capacity of raising a child, you're going to need more than just being fueled off of love. You're going to need actual emotional and mental stability. And like Captain Disillusion says, you have to love with your heart and use your head for everything else. You can't will stability into existence by just loving somebody so much. You can't create that out of nothing. I mean, you could both potentially get your shit together, but it's very unlikely based on your past experiences. But I feel like his young fan base might not have known this at the moment or maybe they did maybe they were fucking completely aware of the manipulation he was trying to pull on them I also think it's very telling about the person that Onision currently is that the end screen to this old video includes a new relationship drama video called Our Marriage is Over in reference to him and Lainey and that's a pretty old video and they are still together so it's a completely clickbait fucking title but he knows that the people that are going back to watch these Shiloh relationship drama videos or might want to check out that new fresh Onision relationship drama because he's constantly trying to capitalize off of his relationship drama, even to this day. And I get it. YouTube is difficult, and I can't imagine sticking around on the platform as long as someone like Onision has. And I respect him for that in a very specific, weird way. But I feel like he's doing all of this to the detriment of everybody in his life and himself. All right, after that very long diversion, back to the article. Exactly one month after Onision's announcement that Hoganson was pregnant, Onision posts a video update stating that she had suffered a miscarriage. The same month, Jackson released a video titled Shiloh Has Sepsis, in which he reveals that Hoganson was diagnosed with the potentially life-threatening inflammatory condition sepsis. Immediately following this video, however, Jackson posts a video titled I'm Sorry, where he claims that Hoganson fabricated the sepsis diagnosis. So that's very interesting. I think it's important to note that at one point in that video we just watched, Onision claimed that you guys only see what they decide to show. But that's not true. The viewers only saw what Onision decided to show. Onision is always the one behind the camera deciding to film because it's almost like this film the police sort of thing where he feels that as though he, if he has a video document of everything that happened, he cannot be held at fault and that like he is protected. I don't think Shiloh had that same thing of filming him back and really documenting what was going on inside the house. I feel like we only really saw things from Onision's side throughout this entire experience and then it was just like up to the fans to decide what they believed. Following these videos, the authenticity of the interactions between Onision and Shiloh that took place in December 2011 was brought into question. Jackson then released a video titled Goodbye Shiloh, in which he claims that he and Shiloh had officially ended their relationship. Onision responded to those who doubted the situation between Hoganson and himself, asking why would he show the truth just for views when his imagination can make up something much more entertaining. Following the Goodbye Shiloh video, Hoganson never again appeared in any of Jackson's Jackson's videos, and he has since not mentioned her name, including when he answered questions about her, citing his interest in minimizing her publicity. And it seems as though at the end of the day he's just trying to play it off as a big act for entertainment value, and even if that is 100% true, he was still misleading his fan base, the people that support him, the people that are emotionally invested in both the lives of him and Shiloh as people and don't want any of this thing to have happened, and they were all like on this emotional roller coaster thinking that everything was true, and he's just claiming that it was a big act. It's, it's really strange, and he's done this stuff a lot throughout his career, and it makes me very uncomfortable. So definitely 
start a conversation down in the comments because I'm not sure what's true and what's fake. I'm kind of underinformed on the validity of any of these events. So let me know. If you think that you know the truth of what was going on here, please let other people know and, and talk about it. See if you can come to some sort of consensus about what the fuck is going on here because I think that I'm confused and a lot of other people are probably pretty confused. And maybe I'll dive into the comments and if something gets like upvoted to hell and everybody's agreeing with it, maybe I'll consider that person the authority on the subject. Maybe that's a really unreliable way of doing research, but I feel like the fans are the ones that know the true story on this, and I don't know. I have been unable to kind of find facts on what was going on, so let me know if you have any information that I have not covered in this shit. There's definitely going to be more Onision videos in the future. I'm freaking obsessed with this stuff. There's still more controversy to cover in this article. It gets a little bit more intense after this, I think, in different sort of sexually assaulty ways, which is really fucking bad and extreme, and I don't know what's going on there yet, but I implore you to drink more water, skate on to the best of your ability, and I will see you tomorrow. Be careful out there, guys. I really don't want anything bad to happen to you.